Mmm, mashed potatoes. They're fine, but they can be finer. No, literally, they can be finer. Okay, so what exactly is this thing? It's a potato ricer. You see, for this episode, we're not making any regular plate of mashed potatoes. No, no, no. I'm making a smooth, creamy version of mashed potatoes pioneered by French chef Joe Robichon. Yeah, close enough. And if you've ever eaten at his famous Las Vegas or Paris restaurant, you'll know just how damn good these creamy mashed potatoes are. Now, have I myself eaten there? No. I mean, come on, it's a fancy five-star restaurant that requires reservations. So do your part, like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon. Link in the description. Anyway, shameless plugs out of the way. Let's get the cookie. Now, obviously, you're gonna need potatoes. And uh, depending on their size, you're gonna need about four to six russet potatoes. So, grab a vegetable peeler and... and peel them. All right, next, cut these up into large chunks and place them in a pot full of water. Okay, once our potatoes are fully peeled and in our pot, transfer the pot to the stove, bring it to a boil over high heat, uh, salt the water first, then once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat down to medium low and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. How to check for doneness? Well, just grab a potato and if a knife easily slides through it, it's ready. And once our potatoes are done, drain them through a sink through a colander. And yeah, 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 I know when I cook on the stovetop, I'm normally over there, but I gotta work when the potatoes are hot and by the time I move all my camera equipment around, the potatoes are going to cool down. So, live with it. Oh, and uh, here's another thing. I like the taste of garlic and chives in my potatoes. But adding, these, but adding these things to our mashed potatoes would compromise the creaminess. So, here's what we do instead. Take four cloves of garlic and smash them. Oh, harder, Daddy. Then add one cup of heavy cream to a small saucepan. Add in our smashed garlic cloves. And one package or half an ounce of chives. All right, let's bring this to a boil. Whoa. Oh boy, yeah, once it hits the boil, immediately drop the heat down to medium low. Because if you're not quick enough like me, your kitchen's gonna be looking like the aftermath of a hentai comic. And yes, I'm, t and I'm talking about both in the comic and after you're done reading one. Let this continue to steep for about three minutes. And transfer our cream to a cup while filtering out the ingredients. All right, the potatoes cook. Let's move on to the next step. Remember this, this is our potato riser but it'll mash our potatoes more thoroughly and more gently. Because unlike regular mashing, you'll still end up with chunks of unmashed potatoes, but not with this method. So load up our ricer with potatoes. And uh, make sure you load up the ricer over the potato bowl, not the clean one. Rice away. All right, our potatoes have been riced. All right, let's add some of our chive garlic infused cream. Half a teaspoon of salt. More importantly, butter, but not any kind of butter. This here is European style butter. Unlike normal American butter, this is more slow churned and as a result creates a more smoother, creamier texture. I have here two sticks of unsalted European style butter. So let's just throw in a small, all right, let's throw in a small chunks. Grab a spoon and start mixing. And add a little bit more.
more cream. All right, let's add a little bit more butter. Oh, fair warning, you will get hand cramps when you make this. All right, it should be having this loose consistency. This is what you want. All right, next step, serve it up in a bowl. Garnish with a little pat of butter and dig right in. Man, I don't need to make no reservation at a fancy five-star restaurant in Vegas. But seriously, do support me on Patreon. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Huh. For the first time ever, I have nothing funny to say at the end. <laughs>